Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my acne update video. I'm going to insert some pictures of what my acne looked like a few months back. With incorporating certain products and making a few changes in my lifestyle, I have noticed a significant difference in my skin. And not only that, just how I feel. As we all know, acne sufferers, um, you know, take a kick when it comes to their self-confidence. And only because when people look at you, all they see is your pimples. So this has definitely given me a boost in the right direction. It's definitely helped me with my confidence as well. And I tend to not wear a lot of makeup. I only wearing it now for the purpose of this video so I can look fairly put together. But normally if I'm not going out or if I'm just working at the office and don't not really meeting with anybody, I tend to just go makeup free. So I have a list here of uh, things that I've changed and um, some have worked quicker than others, but with anything, you have to just be more and more persistent and try do things continuously just to get find a difference. Um, so here are the things that I did and that have worked for me, and some of the things that actually um, hindered the uh, improvement process. So here goes. So, first of all, I want to talk about face mapping. Now, face mapping, um, I'm going to put a picture up, and you'll see that it helps with finding out what certain air face are trying to tell you. Now, my breakouts were mainly on my cheek area, and you'll see in my pictures that I had a lot of redness, a lot of, lot of breakouts, and scarring. I still have some scarring there and it was mainly just focused on my cheeks. Um, as much as we want to put products on top of our skin, topically they will only work for X amount. Um, but majority of the work that needs to be done is um, through inside out. Face mapping showed me that I have more of a digestive issue, something wrong with my stomach. Now, there could be many different reasons. Um, but I wanted to just focus on um, my stomach and my digestive um, problems. So I actually spoke to a dermatologist and a doctor and they did mention that this is an actual case for me and that I should do these steps to actually help. And one of the first steps is to drink lots more water. Now, I'm sure you've had it all before, but it's actually really worth the time and the effort to drink more water. You, some people don't seem to find feel different straight away, like I didn't. It took maybe a week of me drinking lots more water for me to actually see and feel a difference within myself. My skin felt more hydrated, it felt it was clearing out, and I felt more, I had felt like I had more energy. Another thing was that I, um, I started to take probiotics daily and I also take a few extra supplements like I take a mixture of magnesium and aloe vera twice a day, morning and night, and I also take um, activated charcoal. And all of those things combined clear out my system, any heat that I have being built up down in my digestive tract actually is released and I'm actually trying to help um, put in good bacteria into my stomach. Another thing is um, my diet. I have drastically increased the amount of sugar that I have daily and also the amount of dairy. I found that I um, couldn't really digest a lot of dairy and so I only really drink it in my tea. I only have a little bit of milk and that is it. If you're going to have dairy, make sure it's organic and if you can, steer away from cow's milk, try organic milk, um, organic uh, almond milk. 
and that's another thing that I drink more often. So those are the things that I'm doing internally and obviously exercise, but I'm too lazy for exercise. <laughs> so um, that will be in a, in a in another li actual lifestyle change video. So let's talk about all the things that I do topically on my face. I have stopped using my Clarisonic. I have not used my Clarisonic for the past year and a half. If you have acne, purchase a Clarisonic and it's not clearing your skin, it's not going to help. If anything, I think it made my skin worse. So I completely cut that out and it's just sitting in my bathroom cupboard catching dust. I have not touched it for a year and a half. Um, alongside that, I change my pillowcase fairly frequently throughout the week. And when I sleep, I actually tie my hair back off of my face. We, well, women in general, we tie, you know, we put so many products in our hair and our hair is touching our face if it's down throughout the day. The last thing you need is all that stuff actually sitting on your face when you sleep. So, um, allowing your skin to breathe at night without all of that product on its on your face actually will help as well. A few other things that I apply topically are um, homemade masks and I will be doing a separate video on those um, on the ingredients that I use but when making a homemade mask try your best to use organic um, ingredients. I can't rave about this enough and no this video is not sponsored I happened to fall upon this product I can't remember I was on through YouTube trying to find something to help clear my acne. I found someone, I can't remember, I'm gonna list their video down below. And I found myself Curology, which was formerly known as Pocket Derm. And oh my days, this product is definitely a life changer. If you have any kind of skin issue, it doesn't mean only acne sufferers can only use the service. If you have, um, you know, hyperpigmentation, large pores, lots of blackheads, I don't know, they just, this is just a board certified dermatologist that actually started Curology. So Curology is really simple to use. You just go onto their website, log in, and input all your information regarding your skin, and then you upload a few pictures, after which a... <laughs> A board certified dermatologist gets back to you and tells you hey this is what's wrong with your skin and this is how we're going to help you they send you the uh, tube of cream and oh my god I cannot even thank them enough that I my skin is a billion times better than it was um, you apply two pumps of it at night Part of your skincare routine. I tend to apply it after toning my face because my face is going to absorb all of that, you know, goodness into the skin and then I apply my serum and moisturizers and all of that. When it comes to the actual skincare routines as well, when applying all your different layers, give your skin some time to actually absorb the products. Um, sometimes you may feel that, oh, you know, let me just apply my serum and then quickly put my moisturizer on and then, then do this and then apply that. Well, I feel that you're not giving your skin the opportunity to actually take advantage of all that goodness on, on your face. So you, I feel it's not absorbing all the ingredients quick enough. That's just my opinion. Um, so I do take a little bit longer in the morning and in the evenings applying my products on my face only so I get the best you know, the full potential out of all the products that I've purchased. Like I said, this is my acne update. This is my issue with acne. I only started suffering from acne for the past, I would say, three years. And um, it's tough. As a grown-up, it's tough. And I'm sure it's a lot tougher when you're a teenager, but I never got acne then. I'm only getting it now. So I'm sure if I continue with taking my supplements, take, drinking lots of water, and keeping up to date with my skincare routine, I feel I can have more control. I can tell you now, I haven't broken out since the third week of December, and now it's the third week of January. I've, it's been a month and I haven't broken out. Even my hormonal acne, I would say uh, there was a tiny little bump that came out. It didn't actually turn into a spot 
and it's kind of nearly gone away so I don't even take that as a breakout only anything on my cheeks um, even my scarring has gone down thanks to my um, homemade face masks and um, and just keeping up to date with uh, my skincare routine another thing I will like to say is these things our makeup brushes especially our face brushes um, these guys take a battery with makeup and they you know just imagine how many nasties are just sitting on here and then you're just gonna go boop all over your face again so to prevent any extra breakage on your face any breakouts and to kind of be on top of your game with making sure that you know you kind of maybe not get rid of it because there is no you know miracle cure for acne but kind of you know tame it or have some kind of control over it um, I'd actually recommend washing your face brushes daily um, that's if you wear your makeup daily or whenever you use them only because you've taking more control over what's going on in your face. That's enough of me ranting and raving about my skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a separate video on my skincare routine and on my homemade face masks as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you do have any questions about my progress, please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you want me to make any other kinds of videos, you know what to do leave me a quick message. I am thankful for you if you got to this part of the video. Give yourself a round of applause. I'm sure, you know, you must be ready to get on out of here. And if you haven't subscribed to The Exquisite Family, please do. It makes me extremely happy. And it makes making these videos even more better and worthwhile. So thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.